Hey everyone, this is Carnage Panda coming back with more of the Onimusha Dawn of Dreams and I just want to talk about this game and why I don't think it is as good as the last one. I know I, I have probably been saying this a lot, but yeah, it's, it's not a good game. Like, I understand that there are like two development teams that were working on this. The first uh, development team worked on the first and third games and then the second one worked on the second and this game. So, what I think happened here is they come in on Unimusha 2, and since it's a different team, they don't really understand what is about, so they, they make this game that's based around grinding. So, Onimusha 2 has this uh, basically choose-your-own-adventure style gameplay where you could give gifts to, to the other um, party members that... Uh, I, I don't remember all of their names, uh, mostly because I skipped most of that content because... Honestly, it's bullshit. The, the way you have to do it is, once you get to the village, is just sit there and grind for a couple hours to get enough gold to buy all the gifts out of the shop. And, like, you could do this a couple times until the shop just stops restocking items. And then you run around and give these gifts to these guys, and maybe they'll give you, like, power jewels and oni jewels and stuff. But what what is the most important thing that happens is that You'll get like affection points from them or whatever, which is a common thing that happens in RPGs. But if you get so many affection points, you'll be able to unlock a different path a, li a little later down the storyline. And they may or may not show up when you get there. So if you have enough affection points, they will show up and you'll be able to get their story, get that unlocked. But, but you can't do like a perfect playthrough where you get everything because there's like certain points where... Um, you get there and I guess like the guy with the highest affection points will be the one that, that joins you at that point and you'll get that story and I'm pretty sure in my playthrough I think I show it at the end where there's like all these branching paths that you can go through and I took like the, the most uh, vanilla path you can because honestly sitting there and grinding for a couple hours at the beginning to get all those gifts is, is annoying. They, they should have done a little better because this completely destroys the pacing of the game. Who really wants to do that, honestly? Which is why I think Onimusha's 1 and 3 are the better ones out of the series because they don't have those problems with the, the, pacing, the, the pace of play. You know, you just go through the game and, and you'll be able to uh, enjoy it. Like... It may be a little bit more difficult if you didn't get some souls, but you could just fight them. This and the second game seem to re really revolve around grinding. A lot, a lot of grinding. It's, it's like Pokemon, which is why I don't play those games, because they're just grind fests. So I'm probably going to get locked in another hour-long segment here at another stage. Like, that last stage would have been really short. already wow what a body yes i've taken too much time already well you were injured pretty badly it can't be helped but it's two months down the drain after what you went through you're lucky to be alive at all besides it was a good chance for us to rest too the genma have been awfully quiet lately I'm going to Sawayama Castle. Sawayama Castle? Haven't we gone there yes. already? <laughs> when I was being held there, I left something very important behind. I need to get it back. I'll be back soon enough, so just wait here. Wait, is this a Roberto Solo? Why? What do you mean, why? If you're going, we're going. Everybody ready to go to Sawayama? We certainly know the way well now. Should be a breeze. We should split up. Otherwise, Mitsunari might notice our presence. Not a bad idea. Hold on. I'm just going back to pick something up. You don't need to get involved. Roberto, if the shoe was on the other foot, would you just wave goodbye when I headed off to Sawayama Castle? <sighs> That's what friends are for. Anyway, let's get going. All right. The Dark Castle. Yeah, another problem with this is the, the directing and everything. It's over-animated and over-emoted. 
The group has returned to the dungeon beneath Sawayama Castle where Roberto was being held. He had forgotten something very important to him, and they have all agreed to return to the cell to help him look for it. However, the dark essence surrounding the area has grown stronger since the last time. Is this just revisiting the areas, the past areas? They follow Roberto's lead to find a shortcut leading to the cell below the castle. Okay, his arm is glowing red. I'm impressed. Who would have thought you could get in from here? Froyce had to get in and out of the castle in a hurry, and he showed me all the routes. Well, a lot of good that does us with that in that way. That's probably an interest behind it. Yes, there is an interest behind it. They really think they can keep us out with this flimsy box. Ha! Flimsy, this is no laughing matter. How are we going to get through that? With our Roberto muscles. Alright, let's, let's power up Roberto. Now that, um... Last boss battle was absolute ass. And the only reason that anybody would know how to do that is because they've played other games. Like, that was exactly from uh, Link to the Past, where you fight Agony, is where uh, Froyce's uh, knives had to be deflected, and then from the first game, because he turns invisible like Ganon does at the end. And then, I don't, I don't even know what to say about the, um... Oh, what, what, what was it? Uh, the, the time stopwatch. That, that was absolute bullshit. I can't save here? Um, how does he interact with this, then? Oh, you can only push it from a certain spot? Why does he have to stop between each... Why, why does he do it? He doesn't just push it in one continuous motion. Roberto wakes up after being unconscious for more than ten days. He recovers his strength and quickly returns to perfect health. He sets out for the dungeon beneath Sawayama in order to retrieve something valuable left behind while he was being held prisoner there. After finally being reunited, his companions are not about to leave his side. Soki and the others accompany Roberto to the place of the great battle, Sawayama. Okay, so the only thing I could do there was spin in place. And I guess I have to come back later to get this with um, Ohatsu because there's a small Ginma. Luckily, I'm sure some someone with the uh, blah 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 explosives. Why is it too dangerous? Oh, there's a switch over here. W what do you mean? Okay, I just barely saw this switch right here. Okay. All right, pull the lever. Both floodgates have dropped, cutting off the flow of water. Wow, amazing. Why? Collision should have ran off by then. Oh my god, I have to do this with Roberto? Can I eat him off there? This would be much cooler if I could just like press L2 to switch teammates as I wanted to. Instead of, you know, having to go to the save crystal and do it that way. Oh no, not these guys. Come here. Oh, 
Oh my god, they immediately went back under. Soki, what are you doing? Soki, why are you fucking standing there? Why is the AI stupid? It said follow and attack, not stand there and be dumb. Alright, you just have to knock him on the ground. Oh my god, that did so much damage! Yo, that is ridiculous! That did like over 75% of my health there! I just want to explore, I don't... This game is actually an agonizing experience to play. I, I can't even... Like, why would I even want to level up my weapons anyway when I could just use the, the critical hits to... Okay, I guess I just go inside the castle. There's no loot around here. Have we not seen these guys since Odimusha 2? Or were they in the... I don't remember where these guys... Of course. Hey, stop it! What the fuck, man? the idiot that designed this section like holy shit this is seriously bad like you make this whole combat simulator for all this technical shit and then it's just dumb bullshit like this Soki, we, we, we gotta kill this guy.
Is uh, Roberto even hurting this guy? Is it? Don't seem like it. It does seem like it's losing health, but it's losing it so slowly. Good job, Soki. Best gameplay in the world, man. Just like excellent gameplay right here. Okay, I can't go through those doors anymore. Okay, we need to, to find a key to retain our sanity. Best of one. Gotcha. Okay, I think I found the key. Why even put a key here if I'm just gonna move one room away? I swear the puzzles of this game are ass too. What's he doing? Ow! Not yet. Yeah, this guy's health feels a bit more right. I guess I have to go back through a, an earlier level to get through there. Oh, I don't have magic attacks equipped. Okay. Well, that didn't help out a lot. Well, what am I going to do here now that I don't have Ohatsu? Oh, lordy lord. That really... Oh my god. I should have just gone with the magic attack instead. I guess I have to uh, re-equip a weapon. Why am I not getting health from these guys? Come back! 
What is Roberto doing? That Stay over there. Actually, now that I think about it, that dodge just seems useless. He just punches the door. All right. I don't know which way I want to go now. I can't even fuck with that guy. He's just gonna fuck me up if I if I stay over there. Looks like they're giving decent XP, but this is not where I need to be. I can't do anything in that room, I think. I, I have to go up here. They got drive mid. Punch that really hard. Okay, so yeah, I can only do him and Soki. After 14 hours, I think that uh, I should have beaten this game by now. I was just getting bored. Come on. Not another one of these. Give me your loot. Come here. Fine, fine. Do these guys respawn if I kill them? Yeah, they do.
Oh, what an ass! I want to stay away from that. Okay, you can't even knock him out of his uh, casting when you hit him with your own magic attack. Where, where's the staggers in this game? I was just getting bored. Come on. I don't actually care about this shit. Why isn't this shit optional? Can I have some health? Of course not. What, what the fuck? Well, I tried. These fucking uh, tests of valor are just stupid bullshit that should be completely optional. I was just getting bored. Come on. Yeah, they're they're spawning completely different enemies here, and then they're like, "Yeah, test of valor, right here." Divine hammer, scream. Stay out of that. That's gonna fuck you up. Um, if he's using wind, is he... Oh, I don't have, uh... Weak to earth, okay. Why do I have to go through this bullshit? I could just skip it and come back if I wanted to do it. I was just getting bored. Come on. Fine hammer. Fine hammer. I mean, I'm going to complete this game, but, but no one's going to say that I'm going to enjoy it. This is not uh, Odibusha 3 here. Yeah, can you just fuck off? 
Okay, now he just wants to cast this bullshit all the time. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do to, to get the, the high rank in that. 